Hey, good morning folks, it's Jeff again with Bee Bass Bee Removal. We're going to be going up here on the ship to go get a swarm of bees that just landed on one of the aircraft up on the flight deck. So, come on, let's go! down to the USS Midway right now folks they got a bee swarm up on the boat or in this case a ship it's a floating museum that was moved to San Diego over a decade ago and it's anchored in downtown San Diego and uh, from time to time they get swarms on it usually up on the upper flight deck and we're going there right now to go remove a swarm of bees it's just amazing how fast this uh, spring went flying by well, this is the June bloom. The May gray hasn't left yet. They call this June bloom. But it still feels like May gray. When it's cool and cloudy like this, more of the bees stay back in the hive. They'll still go out and forage for food and collect nectar and water and all the things they need to survive. But when it heats up and it gets warmer, more of the bees are out working uh, because the warmer temperatures allow more of the bees to leave because not as many bees stay behind to keep the brood home warm. So they need a certain amount of bodies to keep the 95 degree temperature in the walls of the brood comb so that most of the babies can hatch. If it gets too cold, a lot of them will die. So that way, warmer temperatures means more bees will go out and actually forage for food that way. Just like this. Amen, thank you. Yeah, they, they usually do kind of stare. I don't know why. I think it has something to do with the bee suit. You think? Elevator any day. Nah, you know you like elevators, man. They ain't get me in no elevator. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I don't care if it's on the 20th floor. I'll get up there, but it'll be through the stairwell. Now, if you want to put this on the video, there's a reason for it. I got stuck in an elevator for two and a half hours. So if you can imagine that as an eight-year-old kid being stuck in an elevator for that long, wow. it was scary. And you are doing a video because? Insurance policy. <laughs> Just keep it on there, come around here. That's the feed. But this has also got a little sting to it. I think I'd rather be hit with this one right here myself. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and pop these guys into this box right here. So here we go, folks. But I, no, got, I, I got, you got to realize it was almost triple that size. We got about probably 75% of the bees in the box. There's probably 25% that are still on the uh, on this gun here on the side of this helicopter. Uh, so we're going to kind of let them settle down a little bit and then get the rest of them. That's pretty much it. And then we're going to take them out to the bee farm uh, this afternoon. There they are, live bee removal. You want to see them? Oh, open it up, come on. Oh, <laughs>